Lake Superior is, in my opinion, the most beautiful place on Earth. It's Earth's largest reservoir of fresh water. It's surrounded by some of the most remote and beautiful forests that you can find on this planet. While a lot of Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota are covered in forests, these forests are built on top of some of the most beautiful and interesting rock ranges I've ever seen. The existence of the rock isn't necessarily surprising, as the western portion of the Upper Peninsula is a part of the Canadian Shield, which is a massive plate of ancient rock that makes up the core of North America. With no volcanoes in the vicinity, there are ranges of volcanic rock and lakeshore, tons of basalt, rhyolite, and agate covering the beaches. What happened to create all this volcanic rock? A series of tectonic events that almost ripped the continent into two pieces about 1.1 billion years ago. The Mid-Continent Rift System, the event that created the volcanic rock near Lake Superior, was a moment in the Earth's history where a divergent boundary was created by the force of tectonic plates moving away from each other. This was during a mountain-building event called the Grenville Orogeny. This just essentially means that some continental plates were moving around and the forces of two plates moving away from each other created a tear in the middle of North America. This tear likely started in an already weak spot, but it eventually was made into a massive 1,200 mile long gouge that spilled lava onto the Earth's surface. It spans from Kansas to Lake Superior, it's hundreds of miles wide, and in some places the basalt is thousands of feet thick. Tectonic plate movements shifted before this rift could fully bifurcate the continent, changing the extension force to a compression, which forced mountains of volcanic rock upward, creating the Keweenaw Peninsula and the Porcupine Mountains that extend south through the westernmost portion of the Upper Peninsula. After the scar closed and the tectonic forces subsided, the heavy basalt layer created a depression, as it was much heavier than the surrounding bedrock. This depression was filled in with the seas that covered the inland portion of North America at the time, which allowed sediment to be deposited, covering the majority of the scar with sediment. Today, the only visible portion of this massive event are the volcanic rocks of Lake Superior and the Porcupine Mountains. Although scientists have detected this rift through gravitational anomalies caused by the heavy basalt and shown it to exist as far south as Oklahoma and as far north as the north shore of Lake Superior. Native Americans have used the natural resources found in this unique geological area for thousands of years. They found native copper so pure it could be mined and molded into tools with nothing but their hands in a hot fire. Later industrialization of the country saw this area marked with thriving copper mine communities that now remain as interesting ghost towns and structures that are relics of a past industrial era.